Hello, this is Eric Jesse. This is Education 383. The assignment title is Module 6, Goal 9, Grammar and Punctuation. And today's date is August 13th, 2022. Jonah, back at it. How you doing? I'm good. Good deal. Okay. So today's lesson, you know, we're going to continue with the writing aspect, you know, and we had just done some editing things. Uh, so this kind of goes into that same category, a little bit revising as well. Um, but you already kind of touched on earlier what the editing process looks like for you and the re revising process. So this is, like I said, similar. Uh, what if I were to say a pause in a sentence, what uh, piece of grammar or punctuation would you first think of? Um, obviously, you know, you got the commas. That's kind of a pause, right? Yeah. So but if it, it's slightly longer, what what would you what would pop into your head? Anything? Um, not really. Yeah, I mean, it's not very common. It's this is more of a thing I feel like that is in stories maybe or very you know some examples here. It's something that you really want uh, people to have some anticipation of uh, about. Um, so here. You know, as you're writing, notice where you want to leave a beat or a pause to make sure you get you ready for extra important information. Okay, so obviously you wouldn't do this if you were talking about how old you were or, you know, what color hair you was or what your favorite sport was. So this is extra important information, you know. Consider it, consider using a comma if it will work or if you'd like to suggest a slightly longer pause to your reader by using the dash. Okay, have you seen those dashes before? Yeah, I think so. Okay, it's, it's kind of just like a straight line from word to word. Um, I'll show you an example here. I've got a few that we can, we can discuss. But, um, you know, a sentence can have, I didn't know this either, but a sentence can have one dash and max of two dashes. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I have three sentences here on this uh, slide that I have. I'll, I'll read the three sentences and uh, maybe see if you can figure out where I had the the pause or the extra dash. Okay. Okay, so first example. When mischievous Sylvester Quincy snagged the schoolmaster's toupee, the schoolmaster took terrible offense straight to Cornelius. Okay, you heard the dash if you had to guess there. Um... The part straight right before straight to Cornelius yep. or whatever. Yep, because obviously, you know, that's kind of makes you wonder what's going on. Uh, second example. Uh, and after I'm dead on chicken Sundays, I want you to boil up some chicken, bones, gravy, and all, and pour it over my grave. Yeah, that one is a little, I had two, so that was a little, um, a little trickier. Uh, it was like the thing i think it was right before a bone something yep that was gravy. one of them about and after, it. yeah and then yeah. right after that and they said something about gravy. yep obviously that one's a little little goofy so a little strange <laughs> uh then my third example i have here is Obe was an artist i could tell the minute i saw them though artist isn't the word i would have used back then so young yeah, that one is a little unique one, but. <laughs> um, I think by the word artist or something. Yep, yep. I mean, because that could technically, I guess, be a sentence, you know, he was an artist, but then it adds on that I could tell the minute I saw them. Okay, so our, uh, you have some writing prepared, right? Yeah. Okay, so well, well, okay, I want you to read it out loud to me again. And then for these ones, I want you to think while you're reading, you know, do you see a place where you'd like to maybe add a little bit of a longer pause that adds that anticipation, you know, did, or do you have certain sentences that, that you, you do want to add a dash? Does it need one or does it two? And you know, how's, how's that something you know? You know, that's just the kind of the overall flow of the sentence. And, you know, if you do see something, you know, don't be afraid to put a dash in there. And what do you think? And what part of this sentence maybe feels like extra information? You know, because obviously that's where our examples had the dashes. It was kind of that extra information at the end of the sentence that maybe added a little bit more. You know, you know, like you said, like I said, oh, was an artist. That could have been a sentence, but it added right away that you could tell from the minute that you saw him that he was an artist. 
Okay. Like that's something we don't necessarily need to know, but it's that extra information that we can do good learning. Okay. Does that make sense? You understand yeah. kind of what we're trying to do here? Yep. Okay. So why don't you go ahead and you can read what you got there. Bud. Um, one day a boy named Jack went with his trick or treating with his father. They saw the famous haunted house and went inside. This this place is spooky. And this place is spooky. And wait, okay. This this place is spooky, <laughs> and I heard there might be ghosts there. Um, I'm pretty sure right there I could have put something. I, yeah. And it said and. That's definitely. And and. That's definitely a good place you could put it because it's that extra information, you know. You said it was spooky, but the fact that you could maybe see a ghost there too, that's obviously something that as a reader you would maybe put that extra pause in. I agree. That's a good one. Um, said Jack Potter. Um, they searched the whole house for ghosts and then they found the last closet. When they opened the closet, they saw a ghost. They ran out of the house and never came back. Any other dashes you think you could have added to that? Um, let's see. Maybe in between where it said they searched the whole house, and but they didn't, but they, till they found the last closet. Yeah, yeah, cause yeah, you could have just said they searched the whole house, and then you could have had that little extra pause more than a kind. Yeah, it's good. It seems like you kind of got a good understanding of that. Do you feel confident in that? Yeah. Have you ever used a dash in your writing in school before? No. Yeah. It's probably something you don't really think of, but, you know, it's that extra, you know, that can add a, just even a little bit to your writing that can go a long way. So could you see yourself using a dash maybe in the future? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. The more you write, the more experience and exposure you have. So you never know. <laughs> Any questions you have about that? Nope. Yeah, I think that was a good one. Uh, thanks for helping me out. Uh, and. We'll talk soon. Mm -hmm.